Intelligence was never under my direct purview, but I am well aware of the many exploits of the former Cypher 9. What's this all about? You represent the last, most vital piece in my plan to shake the Republic to its very core. I'd say more, but it's better we speak in person. I promise you, together we will change the face of the galaxy. Starting with the planet Tython. If I could carry a tune, I would sing of this day. What we are about to accomplish, the galaxy will forever behold with great wonderment. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. After all, we've never properly met. Darth Arcus. Yes, a pleasure. In my capacity as Minister of Military Offense, I have repeatedly enjoyed the fruits of your labor. And this is my most trusted advisor, Lana Benico. Secrets. They are windows, doors, and walls all at once. You lead a complicated life. What can I say? You've got me pegged. Not bad. As in all things, it is the force that guides me. You've been invited here to perform an act once thought impossible. An attack on the Jedi Temple of Tython. Promising leads have been rare ever since Imperial intelligence was effectively dismantled. However, a source I personally trust has alerted me to a hole in Tython's planetary defenses. If we act fast and strike hard, it will absolutely ruin Republic morale. Annihilate it. Now once we've taken the temple, what then? While you concern yourself with the assault, Lord Go will be tasked with keeping the temple secured. So long as we have control, we'll explore the artifacts and histories stored inside. Imagine all we can learn about the Jedi and the Force. Does Lord Go have anything to say about any of this, or is he mute? Lord Go prefers to speak through actions rather than words. In that regard, he's a flawless communicator. Your shuttle awaits. By the time you reach Tython, our first wave will have established a foothold on the surface. I'll remain in constant contact throughout the offensive. Succeed in this, and together we will have signaled the beginning of the Republic's most humiliating end. Glory for the Empire! As if it wasn't enough to sense your presence. You seem to have a need to do everything as loudly as possible. This is the Jedi Temple. You are not welcome. Leave this sacred place now. You'll not get a second warning. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Surrender peacefully, Jedi. You've had your chance to retreat. Now you'll learn why. I'm the High Council's chief combat advisor. Can you believe Tech Ops already remapped the secure comms? Talented slicers we have in our employ, though even they pale in comparison next to you. Um, pardon the intrusion. I thought you'd want to know the Jedi Temple is now fully under our control. We have a number of Jedi Padawans in our custody. Must be recent additions. They didn't know the first thing about fighting. What would you have me do with them? They're not worth the time to kill. Send them out. Let them spread word of the Empire's victory. As you wish, sir.
You haven't found it yet, Lord Go, because the blasted Jedi don't want it found. Keep searching. The temple and its mysteries are all ours now. Darth Arcus is indescribably pleased. Don't I get to hear what Darth Arcus and his pet are discussing? It's no secret. With the temple secure, Lord Go has been tasked with uncovering any hidden information stores. On behalf of Darth Arcus, I thank you. This is a banner day for the Empire. Be proud. The Jedi Temple is now in Imperial hands. Indeed it is. All thanks to your efforts, of course. At this very moment, Lord Go's team is exploring a hidden chamber rumored to hold the Jedi's most treasured secrets. Better still, the Republic will be reeling right now, stupefied over the humiliation you've wrought. My lord. Sergeant Tarston, do you not see that I have company? Important company? Of, of course, my lord. But I have a report from, uh, from Korriban. It seems the Republic, my lord, they... Try taking a breath, Sergeant. Yes, yes, you're right. My apologies. Republic forces have made landfall on Korriban and sacked the Sith Academy. What? A retaliation so soon? What's the present status? It's done. They've taken the Academy, secured it, and reports indicate that Darth Sovereus gave his life in its defense. I see. Leave us. Darth Sovereus made a fine addition to the Dark Council. We should all strive to be as loyal to the end. Wouldn't the Republic have been better off trying to reclaim the Jedi Temple? It's a perplexing matter, but we can't concern ourselves with it now. At this very moment, Jedi walk the halls of our Sith Academy. Our Dark Council Chambers. Simply outrageous! I'm going to coordinate with our forces on Korriban. Ensure you have a safe place to land as near the Academy as possible. As with Tython, I will remain in close contact with you throughout the operation. A final note. Whoever is heading Republic operations on Korriban must be made an example of. Do not take their command lead prisoner! May the Force favor you this day. Yes. The Force be with you, and with the Great Sith Empire. What is it this time, Sergeant? These Sith apprentices were holed up in a medical supply storeroom. They're injured, some of them seriously, but they're able to walk at least. Your orders. I don't care if you're armed with vibroblades, blasters, or raw knuckles. You will earn the right to go on living. You all heard him. Time to prove your worth. To arms. Just the sort of leadership we need. An honor to work with you. They've breached the front entrance. It's only a matter of time. Be ready. You the one in charge here? Oh, before you answer, I was told to kill whoever's in charge here. So it's happening. I didn't think I'd have served my purpose so soon. What are you going on about? What purpose? We believe in a cause worth protecting. Worth dying for. Let's find out if you can say the same. The Force give us strength! <sighs> it's happening. It's all happening. And you can't stop it. I propose a trade. You tell me everything, and I call for medical assistance. It's too late for me. But I leave this place knowing I've set a great thing in motion. And with that, the Sith Academy is secure. I suppose saying good work would constitute a gross understatement. This Jedi Commander, he said some odd things. I'm sure Darth Arcus would like to hear about it. He's eager to offer up his congratulations in person. You've really come through for the Empire. There is so much for us to thank you for, and much yet to discuss. I hope we see you soon.
The Republic's been flushed from the Sith Academy, and their commander Jensen is dead. You have served the Empire with strength and passion. I applaud you. Before he died, Commander Jensen made a comment about having served his purpose. He did? Almost makes it sound as though the Republic sacrificed all those forces in support of some ulterior motive. Listen, I want to be sure you understand that what you've accomplished, both on Korriban and on Tython, will be long remembered. Everyone will look back on these days as the nascent events that framed a new foundation for the galaxy. They will see those who participated as its architects. Do you think you could stop making speeches at me? Mm, it's become a habit, I'm afraid. It comes from years of speaking to the easily led and the utterly stupid. You, of course, are neither. Lana and I are indebted to you for your exemplary actions in the Empire's name. We thank you. Yes, thank you. I do hope we have the chance to speak again. Preferably soon. Glory for the Empire. You came. Good. I'm aware I've been somewhat quiet following your success on Tython. Don't mistake my reticence for apathy. Truth is, I have a great deal to say. Now that we're alone, we can have a real dialogue. Then start talking. Darth Arcus wasn't entirely forthcoming about his reasons for invading the Jedi Temple. Not even with me. He was after a very specific item. An artifact. I overheard Arcus talking to Go. It did seem like they had some ulterior motive. If I knew more, I could determine what that motive is. There's very good reason to be concerned about it. Meaning? I now believe that the Republic's attack on Korriban wasn't a retaliation for Tython. It was intended to coincide with our own attack. Attacking Korriban while the Empire still held the Jedi Temple didn't make much sense to me at the time. It still doesn't. Nor should it, not from our current vantage point. But a wider context may exist that could explain recent events. There's something in the Force that I've never felt before. It exists nowhere and everywhere at once, rising, growing. That sounds ominous. I think I sense this growth because I'm tied to it somehow. Maybe by association to Darth Arcus. I think... I think the Empire's in terrible danger. Someone like you, Commander. Most would never trust you, but you're practically the only one I trust right now. Help me unravel this mystery. Potential rogue operatives. Galactic repercussions. You've got yourself an ally. I knew I could count on you. I felt it. I'll see if I can't make sense of what happened on Typhon and Coromel, and what all of this means. Whatever I find, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Stay vigilant, and may the Force ever serve you. Welcome. So good to see you again. As implied in our last brief communication, Darth Arcus is at the center of a grand conspiracy. Arcus had the Jedi Temple raided to acquire knowledge of Rakata technology that he could use to harm the Empire. Even now, he plots against us. A secret conspiracy? I have some measure of expertise in that area. Yes, Commander. A blessing you are here. I'll admit I'm a bit out of my depth. I've followed Arcus to a secure undersea laboratory here on Manan, where he's working with a Selkath geneticist on... something. I've been trying to learn more. I've also discovered that Colonel Darrock secured passage to the same laboratory. He was behind the Republic's raid on Korriban. It seems to me that Arcus and Darrock are working together. That's my feeling as well, but we won't know for certain unless we get into that laboratory. As I said, it's a well-protected facility. 
You'll have to make your way through heavily armed Selkath and dismantle their security grid. You're not coming? I'd intended to confront Darth Arkas myself, but I sense a presence here. A potential ally. I'll remain in touch and let you know how my search progresses. May the Force be at your service. My most sincere apologies for his outburst. Please don't leave us here to rot, I implore you! I want to know who you are and why you've been imprisoned. I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence, Queen Lena of Onderon. And this is my current master, the renowned illicit transport specialist, Jakaro. A smuggler, in other words. Jakaro was hired, quite innocuously, by a Selkath geneticist named Garima. We delivered a large shipment of perfectly legal medical supplies here to this facility. Imagine our consternation, when Garima then had us imprisoned and interrogated most harshly by two awful creatures. So it's true. Darth Arcus and Colonel Darak are working together. Is that significant? They thought I wouldn't discover their conspiracy. I'm going to show them exactly how wrong they were. We shall endeavor to hurry and regroup with you at our earliest opportunity! Time to talk. This The hard way. Nemvog King Avila Gito Torko. Latate Hatamogot are. Care to tell me where your underwriters are? Mine Gin Retet Neste Ahoje Hatal Al Alasona Oraban. Hosu idon keras tulas elva lasto as bot ahatasa. Amun kaja kostunk, vota hoje mar imnit, ete valahol. Eves tog ere ni as igrit, len parnata fedel zeten. He mustn't get another chance to betray us! Shoot him already! <laughs> Grima could still be of use to us. Put your weapon down. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat myself, Chikara. <laughs> How very unexpected. This is the potential complication you sensed? No, this is not my advisor, but rather... an associate. It would appear Benico laid out a convincing case that I'm up to no good. You seem to have forgotten where your loyalties are meant to lie. He thinks you've gone to the other side, Arcus. It is somewhat amusing, isn't it? Sorry to cut this short, but since we have everything we need...
Hang on. Emergency pod's almost secure, but not quite. You're with the Republic, aren't you? That's right. I'm also saving your lives. You got a problem with that? Just get us out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Hurry! I wasn't built to survive the crushing depths! Okay, all set. Climb in and enjoy the ride. Welcome back. Once again, you've displayed a skill and determination that few possess. I've seen worse. Perhaps I should make proper introductions. No need to tell me who I'm addressing. I'm Theron Shan, Republic SAS, and your new ally. If Lana vouches for you, I'll let that be enough. For now. Fair enough, Commander. The way we were fooled by Darth Arcus, the same happened to Theron, except with the Colonel. And between what you found down in that lab and what Lana and I pieced together, I can tell you they're both traitors. Arcus and Darek are in league with a dangerous movement. A shadowy cult known as the Order of Revan. The Order of Revan's no secret to me. I had a run-in with them on Drom and Karth. In an earlier incarnation, perhaps. They seem to have grown strong and bold. Very bold. The Order of Revan used to operate in the shadows of Imperial space, but now their ranks include at least one major Republic figure. That means I can't trust my people and Lana can't trust hers. Present company excluded. And if the Revanites are building an army of cyborgs... This is Jakara. And I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence Queen Lena of Onderon. Hey, Jakaro, how would you feel about helping me track those two down? <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it. Lana, will you be joining us? We don't yet know how deep the Revanite's influence runs. I must learn what I can from within the Empire. You've done well here, as expected. We'll speak again soon. Our work here is done. I was about to send out a search party. Sorry, I had to confirm some things before coming to see you. As I suspected, the Order of Revan as it once existed is no more. A bit of a shame, really. The Revanite's pragmatism may have been anathema to the Sith, but there was something appealing about it. I'd much rather do without mysterious enclaves and secret orders, thank you. They're good for job security, if nothing else. But if they get their way, you won't have a job. The Order of Revan, as it stands now, doesn't wish to change the Empire from within. It aims to destroy us completely, and the Republic along with us. I've not yet learned why or how, but Theron Shan might. He appears to be rather good at his job. You're on the verge of giving me a complex. Are you suggesting Shan's better than me? I would never dream of it, Commander. I only mean to say that he'll make a fine ally. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? The Wookiee smuggler and his droid, how do they fit in? It's not entirely clear to me, but Jakara will prove useful to us. That much I sense unmistakably. I should get to my investigation. Whatever Arcus's Revanites and their infinite army has in store for the galaxy, it can't be good. May the Force ever serve you. Glad to see you again, as always. But I'm afraid any further niceties will have to wait. I know I've mentioned before a strange disturbance within the Force. A sort of writhing mass tied to Darth Arcus. I thought I'd use my connection to Arcus to seek out others tied to the disturbance. Revanites working against us from within. I found a few. Did you learn anything? Theron Shan helped me decipher coded messages between the Revanites. Due to interference on Manan, they've accelerated their schedule. Now that they know they're up against us, who could blame them? Darth Arcus is intelligent, 
manipulative and immensely powerful. We mustn't get overconfident. There is another way to stop Arcus. Theron's traced his activities to Ricarda Prime. He and Colonel Darrock are building their infinite army. And there's more. The implants they're using, they're made from pieces of the Starforge. The Starforge? There was a machine on Narshadar that was built from it. I'd heard rumors. It required virtually nothing to create almost anything. That was the Starforge's power as well. The Starforge was a force-imbued, self-sustaining shipyard, Rakatan. It was destroyed centuries ago, but the Revanites have recovered some of the wreckage. Its technology makes the soldiers nearly immortal, seizes their minds as well, placing them under the Revanites' full control. I've had enough of Arcus thinking he can play me for a fool. Ready a shuttle to Rakata Prime. We're going. I have a shuttle waiting, Commander. Theron and Jakara are waiting for us planet side. The sooner we depart for Ricarda Prime, the better. Jakara, D4. <laughs> Jakaro! This bay at least a modicum of respect. Hey, we're set to move on the Temple of the Ancients when you are. That's the traitor's base of operations. Yeah, the Ricarda designed the Star Forge in that temple thousands of years ago. Now it's Argus and Derek's grunt factory. Theron and I will be monitoring your progress from Jakaro's ship. We'll assist you as we can, keep you apprised of matters. <laughs> Yo, what? Jakaro, I agree to no such thing. Wait, was this the talk with Agent Shad you powered me down for? <laughs> I should warn you, it's a rough road to the temple. The area's lousy with tribal Rakadans more than happy to fight. Found that out the hard way. Wonderful! We're all going to die! Wonderful! Remain focused and all will be well. I'm sure of it. We'll be in touch soon. That's it. We're in. Theron? Okay. According to the structural plans, the only way to get at the head Revanites is through that conscription center. The cyborgs are dormant for now, but they're set to go on high alert once they detect you. The console overload will fry them from the inside. <sighs> nope. Can't work the power safeties from here. You'll have to do the honors. A sound plan. Theron, why can't I get this sensor to work? Because Jakaro isn't a big fan of upkeep? Probably a dead relay. I'll check it out. That he's gone, might I recommend not doing as Theron suggests? An overload would destroy the data as well. The Empire might want its own infinite army someday. You would have to fight those cyborgs, but. They're aberrations. I'm setting the console to overload. I see. Don't like my decision. Tough. Hey, there you go. Nice work. For, you know, being Imperial and all. Room's clear of vital signs. You're all set. If you say so. Hey, those sensor relays were fine, by the way. Not sure what the problem is. Was. The sensor appears to be working again. Wait, wait! Jakaro still wishes to confront the men who betrayed him and left us for dead. As would I, actually. Come on, then. What's the matter, Arcus? Shuttle not ready yet? We Revanites went through a great deal of trouble to reach this point in our campaign. For you to hamper our progress... It's regrettable. You, Lana. You were never anything more than pawns to us. Important pawns, but pawns all the same. 
You're not even the twentieth person to underestimate me. I have the upper hand now, Sith Lord. So talk. So, this is where I outline our grand design, and then you decide whether or not to spare my life? <coughs> this grotesque alien beast does have it partly figured out. Indeed, I won't cooperate, but I'm not fleeing. We will stand our ground and put an end to your perpetual interruption, Colonel. If you could see what we were doing, what we want for the galaxy, but you can't see, you'll just have to die. Marcus and Derek were never going to be taken alive. They were never going to talk. I felt Darth Arcus's passing. This is an unfortunate turn. Yes, you did. What a relief. Blasted those two were running a show. They were our best hope of exposing the Revenites. No, they weren't in charge. The disturbance in the Force, I still feel it. It's arrived. <laughs> We got company, ships, capital sized, whole bunch of them. Can't tell if they're yours or ours, but one of them's dropping in to visit. As important as Arcus and Derek were to the cause, their deaths won't stop us. They will even slow us down. That voice. I've heard it before. It's Revan. I almost had the infinite army I wanted so badly. But even without them, I have enough. I watched you take your last breath. And say your last words. Oh, I was dead. For all of a blink. I've been reborn. My mind is clearer, my power intensified, and now, with the order under my command, I'm unstoppable. You're telling me the Revenites weren't always under your control. At first, I wanted nothing to do with them. I was no prophet. Then I saw them in a new light. A secret group of devotees waiting to follow my lead without question, to help me save the galaxy. I was a fool to ever disregard them. I finally let the Revenites into my world. A world you have to be erased from. Turbo lasers are locking on! Get out of there! You made it. The way Revan was laying waste to that place, I wasn't sure you'd come out of it in one piece. What are you talking about? I'm hardly in one piece. <coughs> anyway, my point is, I'm glad you got out of there. Any ally right now is a welcome ally. We took care of Arcus, Derek, and their infinite army, but where does that leave us? It's a good question. Now that we know Revan's in the picture, everything changes. For the worse. In fact, it's already started. Whatever do you mean? I'll fill you in, D4. Come on, Jakarl. Let's give him a chance to talk. Lana, when you're done, we can start picking out backwaters to go lie low in. If we'd at least recovered the conscription protocols for the Infinite Army, this might feel more like a victory. Not that we have anyone in the Empire to trust right now. The Revenites have just proven they're everywhere. Jakara's had twelve death sentences declared on him. Theron's been disavowed by the SIS. 
and the Empire's placed a bounty on my head for the murder of Darth Arcus. I'll go to Darth Maar himself and make sure this asinine charge goes away. Please, Commander, speak to no one, not even Darth Maar. Our names can't be cleared unless we expose the Revanites, and we can't expose the Revanites without knowing who to expose. The way forward is clear. Theron, Chikaro, and I are going underground. We'll find a way to uncover Revan's plan and stop him. Since we can't take the direct approach anymore, the three of you working in secret is our best option. If I may suggest, you should continue normally with your life. For all intents and purposes, you are Imperial Intelligence. The Empire needs you. Be who you are, but be observant and tell no one the truth about us or what you know. Above all, do not try to contact me. Make this plan work, Lana. I'll do everything in my power. All our fates ultimately rest in your hands. Remember that.